in general what happens is that people look at analytics historically. So they look at it over a period of time, usually say a week or a month or a few days, and then they look at how things have happened from that point. Now looking at something the way something has happened isn't really, part, isn't really a great way to look, look at things. It helps us understand if we've done it right or wrong, but it doesn't help us tweak things as we go along. So this idea of real-time analytics is being able to get hold of the data as it's created. And if you can get hold of the data as it's created and create trigger points to cause the, that from that data, you can then start to see certain actions that come from that. If we can get that right, then we can, we can start to get a more real-time nature to our responses to what's taking place. So the best example is that it would probably be in the area of social media crisis management. Social media crisis management is one of the hardest things to keep tabs on because our information is always lagged by at, le at the very least an hour or two's worth of information. So we're always looking back at an hour or two. In that hour or two, things are basically being made or broken dependent on the way we respond to people. So real-time analytics offers a huge opportunity in the social crisis space to be able to act quicker um, to the responses of um, social media and to the people that are on those channels in enabling us to really be more agile. Real-time data in the campaign space is, is, is a great thing to be looking at, but it's not necessarily the only thing you can look at. I think one of the challenges is if you go into something with a strategy, um, the, the temptation with real-time is to just shift very quickly um, based on, oh my gosh, they're not liking it, let's shift. Um, I think we need a certain amount of um, respect in our own decisions as strategists um, to be able to hold that line and wait to see what really comes from it. But real-time analytics will really be able to help us jump on things. So for instance, if you ran a campaign targeted towards a certain LSM and another LSM jumps on that bandwagon, the agile marketer can say, will, will realize that they can now leverage the same idea into both target markets and gain traction in both spaces and so they will look at tweaking messaging tweaking content stories looking at how things are put together if they can do that then they can meet both markets and gain further traction of the same idea just by looking at what consumers do um, so it really becomes an opportunity to listen to how consumers are engaging and reacting to the material that you put out there